due to COVID-19, lockdown is still going on. Children are so much worried about their studies. Stay at home and do your work and do the exercises and we are here to help you. Today I am going to teach first chapter of chemistry that is of chemical reactions. Now, what does it mean by chemical reaction? Our daily life, you can see many chemical changes taking place. Milk is changing into curd, rusting of iron, digestion, fermentation of grapes, many, many things, respiration, etc. These are all chemical changes. Physical change and chemical change that you have learned in 9th standard. Now, let us saw some examples of chemical changes. Now how this chemical change is taking place? This is because of chemical reactions that are taking place. Now let us see some chemical reactions. For example, suppose if you take a magnesium ribbon and take a pair of tongs and the magnesium ribbon rub with sandpaper and then heat it. You can see a dazzling light and white powder will be formed. Here the combustion of magnesium takes place. The combustion means it is burning in the presence of oxygen. That is called the combustion. Now here the magnesium combines with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. In a similar manner, if you take a conical flask and add some zinc granules and hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid, here the reaction takes place and hydrogen gases will be liberated. Now all these are the chemical reactions. Now let us see how this chemical reactions takes place. And before entering, different types of chemical reactions are there. But before entering to different types of chemical reaction, let us see how to write the chemical formula and chemical compound equations and balancing the equations. First we will learn how to write the chemical compound. Now the chemical compound to write the chemical formula, you should know the valency. Valency you have learned in 9th standard. But at least the valency means, at least means the number of electrons that is sharing or losing or gaining electrons that is called the valency. Now valency is very important to write the chemical compounds. Now let us write few examples of chemical compounds first. Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, everybody knows the formula of sodium chloride. It is NaCl. But how does it form? That's the most important thing. The formula of sodium is Na and chlorine is Cl. Now, you have to write the valency of the first element should be written under second and second element should be written under first. Now, if they are having the same valency, then no need to write anything under that. Or if the valency is 1, then also no need to write anything under that. Now, here you can see the valency of sodium is 1 and chlorine is 1. So, no need to write anything under that. So, the formula of sodium chloride is NaCl. You can take another example that is calcium chloride. Calcium is Ca, chlorine is Cl. Now the valency of the first element should be written under second and second should be written under first. So valency of calcium is 2, so it is written under chlorine and chlorine valency is 1. If it is 1, no need to write anything under that. Now you can take different examples. For example, uh, magnesium carbonate. Magnesium is Mg, carbonate is a radical CO3. In this case, both are having valency 2. Magnesium valency 2, carbonate valency 2. Then also no need to write anything since the valency is same for both the elements. Suppose if you take aluminium chloride, aluminium is Al, chlorine is Cl, valency of aluminium is 3, it should be written under chlorine. Now suppose if you can take aluminium hydroxide, suppose aluminium hydroxide, aluminium is Al, hydroxide is OH. So in this case valency of aluminium should be written under bracket and 3 should be outside the bracket because valency of aluminium is 3 and hydroxide valency is 1. You can't write like this AlOH3. It is a wrong method because 3 is applicable for oxygen and hydrogen. So bracket should be there. Otherwise it is a wrong method. 
Now let us see some other more examples. For example, aluminium sulfate, aluminium is Al, sulfate is SO4. Here the valency of aluminium is 3, so it should be written under sulfate that is 3. The sulfate valency should be written under aluminium it is 2. So the formula of the compound is Al2SO4 thrice. Now let us see how to write the equations. Chemical equations when you write, we will pass to the first example itself, what we I have explained to you about the combustion of magnesium. Now magnesium on combustion, we will see the first example itself. Magnesium combustion means burning in the presence of oxygen. So it gives magnesium oxide, Mg and O. Now let us see the magnesium oxide how this is a chemical example for the chemical reaction. The valency of magnesium is 2, oxygen is 2. Now here when you write the element magnesium simply written as Mg and oxygen is written as 2. Now this is not the valency of oxygen. Oxygen is a diatomic element so 2 is written under that. And magnesium is a monoatomic element so magnesium is written as Mg. Now when it comes in a compound you have to see the uh, valency. When it comes in an element you don't have to see any valency. Whether it is a uh, monoatomic, diatomic or polyatomic element that much you need to see. Once it comes in a compound you have to see the valency. So here the valency of magnesium is 2, oxygen is 2. So it is written as MgO. Now let us balance this equation. Now just see here one left hand side and right hand side. Left hand side one magnesium atom. Right hand side also one magnesium atom. So magnesium is balanced now. But oxygen is 2. Here only one oxygen is there. So in order to balance that equation that you have to write 2 over here. 2 magnesium atom. Now here now the magnesium is 2 and here only 1. So you have to put 2 here. Now this equation is balanced. So 2 magnesium, 2 magnesium, 2 oxygen. This 2 is common for oxygen and magnesium. Now let us pass to the second uh, reaction that is of zinc and hydrochloric acid. Zinc sudden reacts with hydrochloric acid. Now you can see that split hydrogen gas. One is hydrogen gas. So, so hydrogen gas is liberated according to our equation. Then the second the product is zinc chloride sudden Cl2 plus okay now let us see how to balance this reaction now here one zinc atom here also one zinc atom but you can see here to one chlorine but two chlorine is there so just put two over here so hydrogen is balanced now chlorine also balanced now the equation is balanced now the same manner suppose if you add zinc plus sulfuric acid H2SO4. Now the product you can split and write one product is hydrogen gas. So zinc will join with sulfate. Zinc sulfate plus h now the equation is balanced here almost because you can see one zinc atom, one zinc atom, two hydrogen, two hydrogen, sulfur and four oxygen atom. Now the equation is balanced and this is how to balance the equations. Now let us see some examples what is given in the textbook, back exercise of the textbook. That is page 15 that translate the following statements into chemical equations and balance them. Hydrogen gas combines with nitrogen to form ammonia. That is the first equation. So hydrogen gas, first you can write nitrogen first for your convenience. Otherwise it will make mistakes when you write the equation. So nitrogen is a diatomic element, combines with hydrogen to form ammonia. If you don't know the formula of ammonia, just write N and H. N and H. Okay. So N and H. Nitrogen balance is 3. So it should be written under hydrogen. So ammonia formula is NH3. Now just try to 
balance equation. Now, if you want to represent that is a uh, physical state, for example, nitrogen is in gaseous state, hydrogen is in gaseous state, ammonia is also in gaseous state, that also you can write while writing. But just now I am just explaining how to balance the equations. Now, you can see here two nitrogen atoms, they are here only one nitrogen atom. So, just put two over here. So, nitrogen is balanced. Now, you can see the hydrogen, hydrogen three, two, six. So, just to put 3 over here, 3, 2, so 6, now hydrogen is also balanced. That is the first equation. Then hydrogen sulfide gas burns in air to give water and sulfur dioxide. So, hydrogen sulfide gas. So, you do not know the name, formula of hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen is there, sulfur is there. Okay, HS. Now, what is the valency of sulfur 2? So, right under hydrogen and hydrogen valency is 1. So, H2S is the formula for hydrogen sulfide, which is burning in air plus oxygen. Now, you can see, suppose if you don't know, the product is given here, that is water and sulfur dioxide. So, if you don't know the product, suppose if you are giving only half reaction. Now, just think about it. This, If hydrogen and oxygen, if it is there in the left hand side of the equation, one product will be always water. One product will be water. Then, the other product will be SO2. Now, you can balance this equation. Let's see how to balance this equation. Now, this is hydrogen, one, two hydrogen is there here, two hydrogen, and oxygen you can see two, and here only uh, one, two plus one, three oxygen atom is there. So, it is not balanced here also, not balanced. So, just try to solve it with two. So, two oxygen that means two, two, sa, that is four oxygen atom is here, and here only. 2 oxygen atom, so just put 2 over here, then this becomes 4 oxygen atom and here also it is becoming 2 plus 2, 4 oxygen atom and 2, here the hydrogen has become 2, 2 is 4, so you can put 2 over here, then this hydrogen atom will become 2, 2 is 4 and here also 4, but sulfur is again changing over here, so just put 2 over here, now the oxygen has changed, so oxygen has changed into 2, 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 6 so just make it 3 over here so once if you make 3 over here then equation is balanced that is 2 2 is 4 hydrogen here 2 2 is 4 hydrogen here also 2 2 is 4 plus 2 6 3 2 is 6 and sulfur is 2 it is balanced so this is how sometimes you have to do for the trial and error method in order to balance the equation. So many more, more equations are here to balance. Mm. Potassium reacts with water to give potassium for example. Potassium when it reacts with water to give potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. KOH plus hydrogen gas. Now, let us see how to balance this equation. Now, here you can see 2 plus 1, 3. 2 plus 1, 3 hydrogen atom. Wherever odd number comes, you start with that 2. Now, the potassium is also has become 2. Now, you just see how many hydrogen? 2 plus 2, that is 4. And here, only 2 hydrogen, just put 2 over here. So, 4 hydrogen atom and the oxygen is also 2. Now, the equation is balanced. So, try to balance the equation on both the sides like that. Now, suppose if the reaction, if it is taken barium chloride and sulfuric acid, barium chloride, barium is Ba, chlorine is Cl, BaCl2 plus sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Now, you don't know how to do it. So, you can take it as just divide into 2 and put a plus and minus over here. Then plus will combine with, this is an easy method, plus will combine with a minus, plus will combine with minus and plus will be always written first. So, the equation you can write like this. Plus is combining with minus. So, B A S O 4 plus again H C L H C L. So, like that you can try form your equation by yourself. Mm. That is B A S O 4 plus H C L. Now, you have to balance equation. Barium and barium. 
barium and barium and here two hydrogen atom is there so two you have to write two over here so it is chlorine is balanced sulfate is balanced